Hey guys, this is Double Wide Six, and I'm gonna take a look at a coffee pot that I have that uh, isn't working. We plug the thing in, and it doesn't perk up any water, and uh, <clears throat> the heating pad down here, the hot pad thing, doesn't get hot. So uh, we're gonna take a look at it. This is a Mr. Coffee Model BVMC SJX33GT. With these type of uh, appliances, I'm, I'm always curious what uh, you know goes wrong, and I always feel like it's it's worth taking a look at. Um, you know, it's just fun to play around and see what what goes wrong. And um, on the bottom of this, there's several little Phillips head screws, and I already pulled them out, and the plastic cover will just pop off. And uh, if we take a look inside here to see what makes this thing ticks, tick, we can see that there's a little computer control board here, and there's a couple uh, fuses on here, and there's a thermostat. And uh, I already poked around with this thing and figured out what the problem is. So um, I'll show you what I found. So all I did was uh, I took my multimeter and I set it to continuity and I took my probes and I ran across these uh, fuses just to make sure that we had continuity. There's one, there's the other and the thermostat which is right here and this is a lot like a dryer thermostat. Um, there is no continuity through it. So I guess uh, because the thermostat isn't given continuity, um, it's not the, the board's not allowed to signal for the heating pad to come on. All right, so we put you up on the tripod there, and basically there's a little clip here that holds the uh, thermostat in place. So just trying to pop this guy off. There we go. And there's two wires going to the thermostat. And here's that clip. And we're going to disconnect those. But they're not, they're actually uh, welded on there. Yeah, it looks like they're spot welded. So we're going to get some terminal ends. So I think the best way for me to do this is to use a uh, little terminal end uh, just like this and put that right on my new thermostat and I think we'll just crimp off the ends and see if that works. Should be a good connection. So here's the first one. I'm just going to <clears throat> snip the end off there it goes and we'll strip that back a little and crimp on our spade connector alright that looks pretty good and we'll put on our spade connector and We'll use our crimpers and make a secure connection. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to push them each in together. And they both went in there pretty nice. And we'll just crimp that off quick. There's a nice tight connection. Okay, so I have the thermostat hooked up, and uh, I noticed on the old thermostat there's a little bit of compound, and I happen to have some. So we put a little bit of compound on here just so that it bonds good with that heating element. Alright guys, I got lucky. I was able to bend the clip a little bit to make it a little tighter. 
and uh, now it's like really tight, solid on there, nothing's moving. I have a spade connector there, one on the other side, and uh, we're ready to turn this thing on, see if it gets hot. So plug it in. I don't have any uh, water in it. Heard something click. And um, we're at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can see the heat going up. One. And here we're brewing coffee. So we went from no heat to having heat. Alright guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm Double Wide 6. I've got a bunch of other repair videos if you're interested. They're on my channel. And uh, at the bottom of this video in the description I will uh, put a link to my uh, auto ranging multimeter that I got from Amazon. And that was really the key to uh, fixing this coffee maker. So you can click the link and get one for yourself. Thanks for watching.